Hi, this is Terrell, graphic recorder and creator of Frame the Message, Inc. This is Picture This, the webcast series. So why do visuals work? Well, 90% of the information transmitted to our brains is visual. That means our brain is actually an image processor. There's a reason why visuals linger in our memories and don't disappear into thin air like words do. Visuals do a lot of things to help our brain do the heavy lifting. They allow us to rehearse something over and over again. They create pathways for memory. And visuals increase our confidence that when we see something, we have remembered it, we've learned it, and we've understood. Visuals say, hey, wake up, take note of this, this is important. They're like stop signs or pause buttons that cue us in to a spot in our learning that there are two or three main ideas here worth remembering. So if you're not already using visuals in your work or business, then you're kind of missing out on a lot of great benefits. Visuals can actually encourage teamwork. Yeah, keeping us all on the same page at the same time. Visuals can increase productivity. That means we get more done when we see the point faster and when we have a visual hook to hang our learning on. So in the long term, this can improve long-term retention over time. So who doesn't remember the billboard we pass every day on the way home from work? The messages aren't subliminal. They're our visual brains doing the heavy lifting in an information-dense society. So visuals aren't just kids' play. When a carefully crafted visual accompanies an abstract concept, it can actually make it more tangible and welcoming and make learning more effective and long-lasting. So we can't really imagine the internet without YouTube, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, or the world without graphics, images, symbols, or color. So why would we ever want to imagine a presentation, meeting, or conference, lesson, without visuals? Our brains need it. One last little piece of interesting information about the brain that can help solidify this message, if you haven't already been sold. In 1971, a phenomenon known as the picture superiority effect revealed that the human brain had the ability to process ideas faster through pictures than through words. Well now, this is very interesting for those of you interested in using visuals for marketing. Let's put the picture superiority effect to the test. Which of these messages gets the point across clearer and quicker? How about these? Visuals have great potential for all aspects of life and business. And to really set yourself apart in the digital era, visual content must play a pivotal role in all of your efforts. So how can you use them to find personal and business success? After all, that's why you're here. So here's the first step. Write this down. First, you must overcome perhaps the largest barrier of all. The words, I can't draw. Now there's only one way to overcome this, and that is to, well draw. (laughs) The truth of the matter is everyone can draw. Yes, that's right. Everyone. At one point in our lives, we just reached for that crayon box with unabandoned confidence, didn't we? Like that innate assurance that we could and actually liked to draw. And something just happened along the way, I guess, that convinced us that we couldn't. Perhaps it was a bad experience in a Pictionary game. (laughs) Or maybe that comparing yourself of the budding art student who sat next to you in school. I'm sure the moment was pretty traumatic for you, but it's time to let that go and not let it defeat you. For the love of all things visual, let it go. I often hear from people, I'm a visual learner, but I can't draw. As an educator, nothing saddens me more (laughs) to hear that someone won't utilize their own preferred learning style 
to its greatest p- capacity because of a lack of confidence in their abilities. It's time to bust that stigma that there's only one way to draw. Quite frankly, when it comes to true communication, it's not about the art as, as much as it is about the heart. <laughs>